that uh, we don't actually feel that Juventus have done anything particularly special to get to this stage in the game. All right, the Del Piero goal was excellent, but the two goals were very soft goals, the initial two. Yes. And that set the tone for the whole game, and uh, you know, it's a game of catch up now. I mean, um, what will Walter be saying apart from taxi to the airport? I mean, you know, it's, it is a disaster. Well, isn't it? they've just really got to keep their heads and, uh, and defend as well as they possibly can because they know, we know we're going to get under a lot of pressure and uh, they're going to have a lot of uh, the possession. I mean, what's it like, Trevor, you know, in a European tie like that? Not that you've probably known it, but 3-0 down in such a huge arena. Yeah, I remember playing at uh, Red Star Belgrade when we were 3-0 down. Yeah. And they just toyed with us, and uh, we couldn't get the ball from them at all. And it's, they've got the makings of that, and just hopefully we might just be able to sneak a goal and make them think again and, uh, and, and take it from there. The, conf I mean, the confidence is sky high now, Jim. Mm. They're so much so that they'll maybe try things. Now. You'll see us some imagination, now, I'm sure, for Del Piero, the dummies, the Ravenel. Oh. when you, you can see some fireworks but if I can take you back to a game we played at Anfield uh, when I was at Aberdeen a few years back lost the first leg at Petordi 1-0 2-0 down at half time at Anfield 3-0 in aggregate and Drew Jarvie God bless him Drew said at half time three quick goals and we're back in it <laughs> <laughs> that was at Anfield uh, so if we that certainly <laughs> applies tonight Ali ok well, can Rangers get three quick goals and get back in it, or will Juventus pile on the agony? Let's go back over live to Turin and see the second half. Juventus Rangers, they're three up on them. Commentator Jerry. Welcome back, everyone. And uh, as the teams come back onto the field, there's uh, Del Piero. Uh, John Brown has uh, come out for Rangers for this second half. And, uh, no doubt uh, Walter Smith will be hoping that uh, his experience can uh, stem the tide. But... Uh, there's absolutely no doubt that we are watching one of the world's great quality sides tonight, a uh, club with a great history, and in fact in UEFA's all-time uh, European club table, Juventus hold third place behind Real Madrid and Barcelona. And from a Scottish point of view, uh, Rangers are 13th and uh, Celtic 16th. So it's still nil-nil in the other game at Dortmund, as uh, the second half gets underway. You can see there that uh, Stephen Wright is the player who's gone off. Uh, John Brown, who played such a major part uh, in Rangers' last run in the Champions League, has come into the fray. And uh, rockets and fireworks and flares uh, being lit all round at the Stadio Deli Alpi. The Juventus fans behind there, so... So this is uh, Conte. John Brown making his presence felt as he went from there to challenge uh, Sosa. This is Gordon Petrich. The call quickly closed down now. That was very much a feature of the first half. It was Ferrara who did it, uh, that's him laying off the ball. It's uh, Delivio. Here for Ravinelli. Uh, Golf doing a bit of holding there. Good shot. Still at Ravinelli. Again, Rangers in difficulty here. Again, it's uh, Del Piero and, uh, trying to drag that ball onto his uh, right foot. And, uh, far side of the penalty area. And, uh, Rangers already know the consequences of that. And that's uh, a dreadful pass out of defence by Craig Moore. Ravinelli tumbles. And that shot uh, takes a deflection. Antonio Conte it was uh, who struck it. Smoke uh, from the players filling the Stadio Deli Alpi. Uh, the offside flag is up there uh, as uh, Salenko breaks through. Well, Rangers have started positive enough. Uh, it's just in the formation here. I mean, they've pushed uh, Gordon Jury further up the park to try and help Alan McCoy and Salenko. Uh, I, I just go back to the, the ball that was played by the boy Moore there out in defence. That ball, it can't be lost there. Uh, when Rangers regain possession, they must make the best they can with it. They can't give silly, silly possession away. And, uh, once again, Rangers uh, using the three central defenders uh, at the start of the match and uh, now having to move to more traditional uh, back four and uh, one wonders if um, Scottish teams can really cope with 
the system so much favoured uh, by so many on the continent. But it's a matter now of uh, Rangers getting on with things as best they can and uh, John Brown is certainly a player of great spirit. And, uh, one has to hope that uh, he can fire them up sufficiently that they can get something back. There's Petrick striking that one but uh, he didn't get the kind of break uh, that Rabinelli got in the first half when uh, the ball cannoned off uh, Craig Moore uh, beyond Andy Gorham. There's uh, no doubt that uh, Gorham's heroics in that first half get the score down. It could easily have been five or six. So Robertson with the long throw, the goalkeeper came towards it. This is Solenko now trying the effort, then comes John Brown. making his presence felt uh, within the penalty area and uh, Solenko has been caught uh, by the offside flag Ali McCoy had pushed through as well it, it was shown there just by a, a simple throw in how much confusion you know just playing in let's call it the British way where you got a throw in a corner kick or a free kick using the advantage that Rangers and none of the British teams have what can result from it there you get an opportunity, even from a simple throw in, and Rangers have really got to try and capitalise on that. Every, especially every corner kick they get, uh, not to give it away lightly, to use as best they possibly can. Uh, meanwhile, the free kick is awarded to Juventus, uh, Deschamps. It was taken out of the play. The referee, I'm sorry, Jay, the referee has implemented the law to the letter really every time there is a tackle from behind or even to the side that, that looks dubious he's given the decision and, and that is consistent in both ways so Rangers players just a touch frustrated uh, when that uh, initial free kick was given now it's uh, Juventus uh, on the far outside of the Rangers penalty area again it's within the range of these players so that's uh, 50 minutes gone Juventus continue to lead by three goals to nil, and uh, who knows what might come from this now. It's Rabinelli who strikes that one. So a chance for Rangers to break out. So Robertson playing it through to McCoy East. And again, you can see he's surrounded by Juventus players, and the breaks on here for Olivia who's onside. Ravinelli's in the middle, Monte's arriving as well, Ravinelli peels off to the far post and uh, forces the ball behind but the uh, flag had been off the ball head, in fact tripped it out and uh, it's a goal kick. Even here Jerry, although the ball is lacking quality, Ravinelli has actually come to the near post and then brought the Rangers defender with him and then just peeled out to get the header which, which he's expected to come to the back post. A, a, another simple thing, but it creates an opportunity for himself. Unfortunately, the quality of the ball wasn't su sufficient to meet the run that he made. And it was a similar move to the one that, uh, which brought him his goal against Stoya Bucharest, where Diali uh, had provided the cross for him. This is Craig Moore. being forced to backtrack. Petrich is calling for the ball, but uh, it's played to Gorham. Again, the Rangers get possession. They find themselves very quickly. Close down. This is McCoyst. Berlin tries to get forward. Loses it out to Torricelli. And uh, he tumbles, and the free kick is awarded. Lorena Torricelli. Certainly enjoyed pushing out of defence all evening from the very early stages of the game. Caught there by Richard Goff. So, so Piero. Again, hovering over the ball. The referee wants them to get on with it. Again, the referee is pulling 
back the Rangers defensive wall. Rangers certainly taking their time about things. Take off, heading it away, not convincingly. Deschamps returns it. It's clear by Craig Moore. This is Petrich. Michelli sets it through. Piero wins beautifully there with uh, Hinebiel. El Piero with Clellans. Brilliant turn by him, leaving the Rangers player completely. And striking that one with the outside of his foot. And uh, just marvellous skills there by Alessandro Del Piero taking on the defender, leaving him for dead and then hitting a terrific ball across the face of the goal Well that was sheer quality uh, the only thing that did match was the final ball Yeah I did say terrific ball there it was uh, rather gallus he'd done the, the difficult part brilliantly and uh, struck the ball with the outside of his foot uh, the Juventus fans unhappy as their prize asset uh, is got crashing to the ground. And the referee, well, he's shown a red card. Sally Cleland. Well, a night of disaster for Rangers. Gordon Jury booked earlier. is out of the return tie in a fortnight's time against Juventus. So too is Alec Cleland. Alan McLaren is already suspended. So, Rangers' night of war continues. Rangers reduced now to ten men. Rash challenge going in from Alec Cleland on Del Piero, who just a moment or two earlier had turned brilliantly against him. He took him on again, and it was just too much for the former Dundee United player. The red card was shown immediately. And uh, Rangers can only hope now that they can keep this down to a reasonable scoreline. They're trailing by three goals to nil. Ravanelli, Conte and Del Piero all in the first half. So 55 minutes gone, still a long way to go in this night of torture for Rangers and the supporters. Ravanelli tries to turn. Jury's back defending. Salenko trying to get forward, John Brown runs in support. Brown hits the early cross, that's uh, watched carefully by Angelo Peruzzi. He's had very little to do all evening, he wastes no time. Sporini takes the return from Deschamps. It's Deschamps again, Avanelli trying to force his way through. He does well under pressure. Del Piero hits another one, Galileo tries to lay it off, but uh, fortunately for Rangers it falls into the path of Richard Goff. He picks out Selenko, Jury is in support. This is Gordon Jury. Again, there are four defenders back, McCoy is very much in his own in the middle. It's laid off by Selenko, Petric moves through. Moving around for some options, and plays it to McCall, this is Solenko, he's challenged by Ferrara, and that's a free kick to Rangers just outside the penalty area, so perhaps a chance for them here. Sends out his uh, substitutes to warm up. That's uh, Pesotto. Sends it to Pesotto. He's a left sided defender. So John Brown stands over the ball. Petrich has uh, pushed well forward. Goff's just outside the area. It's John Brown who strikes it's deflected. And that's a corner kick to Rangers. John Brown instilling a bit of spirit as he's coming on in this uh, second half. And Goff comes forward, but uh, that was Conte to get out of the way. It's uh, driven in by John Brown. Breaks away to Jury. It's laid off to Stuart McCall. 
Goss forward again. It's uh, easily taken in the end by Peruzzi. Again, wastes no time. He sends it out to Del Piero. Lovely touch by him to Deschamps. Delivio is racing through in the right-hand side. It's played through towards Del Piero. It's uh, cut out there by Petric. Now it's McCall. This is Jury. McCoist. Jury again. He's nowhere to go except backwards. But uh, he does get the free kick. So Gordon Jury challenged by Deschamps. Juventus have it again. Sosa, Deschamps, Del Piero is away to the left again. He's cutting inside. Rampanelli, Deschamps, Sosa, Delivia calls for it. Here he is. Good running now on the right hand side by Torricelli. It was across. It's headed away by Goff. Back to Torricelli. And it's a free kick to Juventus. David Robertson, the offender. Again, the set piece in that area which uh, could damage Rangers. And uh, Robertson charging into that one. Leading up to the free kick there, Jerry, I mean, it, what, what can happen when you're down to 10 men there and the opposition get a grip of the ball and pass and take it from one side to the other? I think Juventus has demonstrated that. So, be over the ball. Uh, the flag uh, goes up. So we just have uh, possession again and uh, a moment which could have caused them further problems and has passed. But uh, still they trail by three goals to nil. Uh, Petric. To find a way through. Stuart McCall. Goes now to Brown. Robertson starts a run. Brown tries to thread the ball through to him, but uh, here come Juventus again. It's laid off by Delivio. This is Moreno Torricelli. Back to Delivio, who's kept that run going splendidly. And uh, Stuart McCall. Covered a fair bit of ground uh, to get that ball back to his goalkeeper. Again, Juventus looking confident in defence. It's uh, the what playing it through. Here he is again. It's Ferrara, Torricelli, Conte, Rapinelli. The shot starts a run on the left hand side. Great running by the Frenchman. Buffing the ball in. It's uh, taken though by Gordon Petric. Brilliant running that by Deschamps. Here come Rangers now through McCall. This is Brown. Going it through, looking for the pace of Robertson. Controls the difficult ball well. Through now for Solenko. And again, Juventus have uh, plenty of cover. This is where they're, they're dangerous when the Rangers have forced themselves onto the attack. They could be caught on the break. Uh, it's, it's hard enough when there's a living of them. You're a man down and you're trying to, to retrieve something from the game. And you're pushing forward. Uh, Juventus and also get that extra player, but also that extra bit of confidence. And, um, Rangers will, will need to be very careful they don't get caught on the break. Well, Salenko did well there to keep possession. Now it's McCall. Brown runs in support. McCoyce is darting about in the middle, trying to find some space, but finding that almost impossible. Brown who lobs it in, but uh, way beyond everyone. Jury comes running in at the far side, but uh, Corini was there. However, uh, the decision goes Rangers way. And, uh, the referee is having a word uh, with Sergio Corini. Tell him to calm down. Meanwhile, it's Craig Moore to Gordon Jury. Rangers have plenty of players forward, but it's Ferrara who clears. This is McCall, but uh, nothing in that one to worry Angelo Peruzzi. Stuart McCall is toiling a bit there, as you can see. Meanwhile, uh, Peruzzi retrieves the ball. He's 
now in the uh, very much the international scene as Angela Peruzzi. Signed from Roma back in 1991. But, uh, had to serve a one-year ban when at Roma for uh, failing a dope test. Uh, he was uh, taking slimming tablets, would you believe? And, uh, with a nickname like Tyson. Here comes Juve again. Uh, so is that. Just out of play now, and uh, Craig Moore quickly gets on with things, takes the throw. So Richard Goff who stands it forward. Now it's Jury. and he's given his goalkeeper something to do there and then John Brown tries the first time if up there with the goalkeeper out of his goal but it's a handball against Ali McCoyst as uh, he tried to control that one well certainly Torricelli put uh, his goalkeeper under unnecessary pressure and uh, he gave the ball away towards uh, John Brown but uh, Ali McCoyst you can see clearly handled so a change being made now uh, Delibio is going off, and uh, Giancarlo Marocchi is coming on. So Delibio's done a lot of good running. And certainly earned the salary tonight. So it's Marocchi, who's a midfielder. He was in the Italian squad for the 1990 World Cup. In fact, he made his international debut against Scotland in uh, Perugia when they met Italy there in 1988. So that's 65 minutes gone, and Juventus continue to lead by the goals to nil. Director Walter Smith below will be hoping that uh, things are still the same in Dortmund the last one out uh, there. It was a Dortmund nil, Sky a nil, and certainly we have some comfort for Rangers. It stayed that way. But, uh, the offside flag is up. Uh, Ravanelli. I think we knew before the game that this was going to be the most difficult fixture uh, the Rangers would have to face. Uh, we were hoping they would get something from it, but as it stands at this moment in time, yeah, you have got to look at what's going on elsewhere. But Rangers have still got, still got uh, games where they can get the points and add up to what may be required to qualify for the later stages. And uh, what goes on elsewhere is important at Dortmund. Still another game to be played against the Germans. So not all is not lost. This particular game, uh, if Juventus don't get slack, and I think in, in the last five minutes they have been slack, uh, maybe just end up the way that a lot of people would have thought they would have done. Uh, but there's a long way to go in this uh, tournament yet. So uh, Dortmund, we've just heard their one up. Dortmund one, Steyer nil. Just trying to claw something back though and of course it's a very complicated procedure uh, at uh, the end of the groupings where uh, goal difference can come into place and i think rangers can get back here tonight or if you can keep it uh, what it's at at the moment uh, that could prove important in the longer term with like on the trailing also so, uh, it's been an inglorious champions league for them uh, facing their third straight defeat Lippe will be a happy man. He read the right act after the weekend match and he had the courage to leave out uh, the likes of uh, Takanabe, who's the international sweeper. And, uh, he's obviously fired up his men. And it, was, it was the great spirit of the Juventus side which uh, carried them to the championship last season. The first in uh, nine years, the 23rd overall. There's a great spirit about them, very much embodied in uh, the alley. And you just wonder what might have happened uh, had he been on the field tonight. It's been a black enough night for Rangers, losing three goals and also losing Alec Cleland, who was red carded in the second half. And uh, Gordon Jury uh, misses the game, so, uh, taking the throw in. He misses the game in a fortnight's time after the, the second booking. 
talk about uh, the last time, Jerry, that Juventus won the championship. And they, they had a great team then. And uh, it, is, it is a similar situation. In that particular time, Juventus supplied five or six players for the national team. And it's and maybe it's not a coincidence, but in the last uh, one of the, the, the two games that they played against Croatia and Slavonia, that um, Rangers, uh, sorry, that uh, Juventus supplied six more players for that game as well. So they are a team that has emerged from that nine years for a club of this magnitude to go that length of time without winning the championship was, uh, was a terrible thing. But they seem to have built themselves a, a formidable team, not only in their own domestic league, but uh, as we can see here tonight in Europe as well. So it's Gordon Jury trying to get forward. And that ball uh, was deflected for the corner kick. The Rangers are waiting to make a change. And it's uh, Neil Murray uh, who's about to come on. The linesman is uh, signalling to the referee that uh, Rangers want to make the change. It's Stuart McCall. Uh, he certainly looked to be in a bit of uh, trouble a short time ago. He was uh, struggling. So off goes McCall, on comes Neil Murray, and uh, Neil Murray is uh, a player who broke into the Rangers' first team during the last uh, Champions League run. So he comes into the fray now. And that's uh, the header going in from Petric, and, uh, flying past the far post of uh, Peruzzi. Uh, Gordon Petric uh, always carries uh, a threat at set pieces. And they come in to attack this ball well. This is Robertson. So headed away there by Bjergvot. And uh, Salenko was happy to accept the throw-in. That's uh, 70 minutes gone here at the Stadio Deli Alpi. Still 3-0 to Juventus. This is John Brown flipping it through, looking for Robertson, the header from him. It's picked up now by Torricelli. Through for Ravanelli. And he gets away from Kendrick. Goff comes across to try and provide cover. And Goff does just enough. And uh, Kendrick was completely beaten there by Ravanelli. Certainly had a quieter time in this uh, second half. But uh, as Joe said earlier, the more Rangers push forward, the more likely they are to be caught on the break. But we've got to try and claw something back here. It's a lead off by Conte. It's Torricelli. And it's a free kick. The substitute foul there. Carlo Marocchi. Juventus again. It's Deschamps. Souza. Laid off there by Conte. It's Deschamps. Putting it through now, looking for Ravanelli. Petrich is with him. That ball's out of play. And that's a goal kick. And Ravanelli pleads his case, but. Uh, not too strongly, he'll be a happy enough man. He scored the opening goal after 15 minutes of the match. This is Brown. Jury has drifted into the middle. It's uh, given away to Marocchi, there's a break on here, Ravanelli, Goff comes across to provide the cover, and it's a free kick uh, to Rangers.